If you've been involved in the world of decentralized finance, you may have heard of something called impermanent losses. In this video, we'll go through what it is and how to avoid them. We'll have a look at the practical example and behind me, there's a whiteboard. Let's jump into it. As mentioned previously, to actually encounter something called impermanent losses, you have to be providing liquidity to a liquidity pool. And we actually mentioned that you have to provide an equal proportion of your portfolio or of those funds that you're actually depositing to the liquidity pool. Over here, we've got a liquidity pool of BNB and BUSD, which is a stable coin. As mentioned, you also have to provide 50% of each currency. So in order for us to do a really good calculation, I think we should provide liquidity for a period of a year. And actually, what we can do in this case is to go back to the historical snapshot and look at the price of BNB in exactly 12 months ago. So what we're gonna do is to open our charts here and actually go 12 months back and have a look at the price of PNB. From the chart, you can see that the price was actually trading around $100. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to our wallet over here and we're going to have one BNB. So we have one BNB in our wallet. As we mentioned that you have to provide an equal proportion when we're actually providing liquidity, which means we'll have to provide 100 BUSD. BUSD, like I said, is a stable coin. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So we have one BNB here. That's uh, our quantity. And over here, we're gonna have BUSD. And that's gonna be 100. As mentioned in our previous videos that when you're actually providing liquidity, you're not gonna be the only person who is providing liquidity to that liquidity pool. There will be other traders maybe thousands of other traders who are actually providing liquidity to that liquidity pool. So in this case, we can assume that there is also other maybe 10 traders who are providing a, a total value of 10 B, BNB. So the total value of this pool is going to be 10 BNB. And when it comes to BUSD, we're going to put this BUSD at 1000 and remember the total of the pool will always remain constant the only thing that will actually change is the ratio of the pool but you'll see as we go along in this video so the total value is going to be 10,000 so now what we have done is that we've taken our funds and actually provided liquidity to the liquidity pool. If you can see here, this is gonna be the total value of our wallet, which is gonna be uh, $200. So that's gonna be the total value. And over here, remember when you actually provide liquidity, you'll be holding LP tokens. So now you are a liquidity provider, just like these other traders who are actually uh, providing liquidity over here. So that's the total BNB that we have on the pool we have also 1000 BUSD and the total value of the pool is 10,000. Now let's actually fast forward to 12 months later. We can see that the price of BNB has actually went up in value. It went up by 280%. Now that means the ratio of this pool has changed. Remember, in the beginning, we actually put one BNB to the pool and we actually put $100 also in, in the pool. And our total value that we put to the pool was $200. But now that the price of BNB has actually went up, it's actually went up by 280%. And now BNB is trading at $400. As you can see from the chart, it's trading around in those price range. Because now BNB is trading at $400, the ratio of this pool have changed. Earlier, we had one BNB that we had put in, in the pool. And remember, when you actually take your funds and put them to the liquidity pool, you actually no longer entitled to those funds anymore however you're entitled to a share so we no longer have these funds available in our wallet but what we have is the 10 percent of this pool over here now that the price of bnb actually went to 400 dollars our 10 percent of the pool now gives us 0 0.5 bnb so we no longer have that one bnb so we have 0 0.5 bnb and it's also giving us 200 BUSD. Because the price of BNB is now trading at $400, a 0.5 of that will give us 200. 
another 200 that gives us a total of 400 dollars so in our portfolio now if we withdraw this today we'll have 400 dollars at first glance you may be happy and thinking that you actually made a lot of money yes indeed you did make a lot of money because initially you started with 200 dollars but now you're actually ending up with 400 dollars right here now the question here is what are impermanent losses impermanent losses take into account the price of an asset from the day of deposit in this case which was exactly one year ago to the day of actually withdrawal which is today so remember that when we deposited in we deposited one bnb but when we withdrawn our funds we're getting 0.5 bnb because the price of those assets has actually went up in value now impermanent losses happens when the price of the deposited assets changes in value from the day of deposit to the day of withdrawal irrespective of the direction of the change as long as the price change in value you will experience impermanent losses to avoid impermanent losses you have to obviously provide liquidity to liquidity pool that has stable coin in this case you can see that we're only suffering impermanent losses on one direction or the fluctuation in one direction but when you actually provide liquidity to a liquidity pool whereby both assets can be volatile that can obviously lead to you losing more funds when it comes to impermanent losses remember we said here we are entitled to 10 percent and that's how we actually got to this price here where we're getting 0.5 bnb and 200 busd because that's a 10 percent now of our pool taking into consideration that the price has actually fluctuated now as much as we made profit here of 400 dollars the question is what would have happened if we actually held this asset here from the beginning in our wallet and never provided liquidity so in that case remember from the beginning we had one bnb we had one bnb over here and we also had 100 busd because the price of bnb now is trading at 400 plus this 100 usd our total value here will actually put us to 500 us dollars from this you can see that by us providing liquidity to the liquidity pool we actually lost out on potential gains in our investment obviously this doesn't take into consideration the fact that when you actually provide liquidity you'll be earning that passive income with regards to uh, the trading fees and also those trading fees really depend on the pair that you actually provided with regards to the trading volume remember the higher the trading volume on that liquidity pool the higher you'll be able to earn and one thing that you have to also keep in mind is that when you actually provide liquidity to the liquidity pool in return you're holding something called lp tokens now these lp tokens can be used for something called farming so you can do something called yield farming right so you can also make money with yield farming so now you're actually making money from the initial investment and you're actually making money from the transaction fees that traders are paying by trading those currency pairs and now you're also making money by doing something called yield farming because lp tokens gives you that advantage of taking your lp tokens and actually staking them and earning passive income on your investment so this loss here or this 400 dollars doesn't take into consideration all the fees that you'll be accumulating for the past year on every trade that is made on this pair so let's just jump into the computer to look at the same liquidity pool when you actually provide yield farming with your 200 dollars with regards to how much money you'll be able to make per year now if we actually come to yield farming we can actually stake our lp tokens over here you can see you've got busd and bnb the very same currency pair that we've been using to provide liquidity in our earlier example the only difference here is the total value locked which is way different from what I presented to you earlier in this video. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put the total value of our LP token, which is $200. And we're doing now yield farming for a period of a year. And from here, you can see the amount of money that you'll be able to earn from your investment. If we click on further more details, you can see the breakdown based on APRs and APYs. So as much as the total liquidity here is different, but this should give you a clear indication with regards to how much money you can make remember this doesn't take into account the funds that you'll be able to accumulate with all those transaction fees 
from here you can see why people would be willing to risk having that exposure to impermanent loss because obviously they want to accumulate you know that amount of 500 thousand sunday tokens that will be distributed daily for the next six months so i hope that now you understand the concept of impermanent losses but can you actually avoid impermanent losses i'll go through that in this video showing right here if that video is up on the channel it will be showing right here if it's not make sure that you give this video a like subscribe if you haven't done so already i'll see you there goodbye